for those of you who are able to join us for our rosary preceding this Mass, you heard some beautiful meditations by Father Bobby John about St. Therese, and I'd like to pick up on some of those and also uh, expand a little about her life. St. Therese of the Child Jesus, or some of us know her as St. Therese of Lisieux, it is her feast day that we celebrate today. And she is clearly one of the most beloved saints. But like most future saints, her life was not easy. And her plan to live it was actually different than God's plan for her. After the death of Therese's mother, when she was only four years old, she received beautiful maternal care and faith formation from her sister Pauline. However, that would change when Pauline felt the call to religious life and then to the Carmelite convent. Therese would recount how this caused her to want to follow in her sister's footsteps, but clearly she was too young at that point. When Therese turned 14, her sister Mary would also enter the same convent as Pauline. And it was at that Christmas, a very significant point in Therese's life, that she had what she described as a conversion. She writes about it in her autobiography titled, A Story of a Soul. I'd like to share with you part of what she wrote. She said, Jesus flooded the darkness of my soul with torrents of light. I got back for good, the strength of a soul lost when I was four and a half years old. Love filled my heart. I forgot myself and henceforth, I was happy. It was propelled by this experience that Therese applied and was even accepted at an early age to the Carmelite convent at the age of 15. Now, most of us imagine the life of religious women, including St. Therese's life, would have been one of total peace and contentment. For she was giving her life to God, she was with her religious and two of her biological sisters. However, Therese felt the call at the same time to be a missionary and even to give her life as a martyr if necessary. However, the very nature of becoming a cloistered nun is exactly the opposite way of living. The cloister is set apart from the world except spiritually. And so Therese turned to the Holy Spirit in the Word of God to be able to reconcile this conflict of her desire with God's plan for her. She wrote, We live in an age of inventions. We no longer need to climb laboriously up flights of stairs. And I am determined to find an elevator to carry me to Jesus. For I was too small to climb the steep steps of perfection. So I sought the answer in Holy Scripture. And she read, Whoever is a little one, let them come to me, from the Gospel of Luke. It was in that scripture that Therese and other scripture discovered that it was Jesus who would serve as the elevator to carry her to heaven. If only she remained one of God's little ones. Therese found that by doing the loving thing in every situation, no matter how ordinary or how challenging, that that was the path to sainthood. That was her little way of living perfectly. My brothers and sisters, St. Therese is our reminder that holiness and the path to heaven does not necessarily require a degree in theology or to perform grand actions that the world knows about, but rather a humility to seek and to serve God in the simple moments of our days, in prayer, in caring for those in our lives, especially those in most need, for without fanfare or even how we planned it out. St. Therese is our hope for simple, doable holiness. And so we pray today, St. Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. <laughs>